This is Dan York, and I'm here at the Speech Tech 2009 show in New York City. So I'm coming into the Voxeo booth right now, and here is Jose De Castro. So, Jose, what are we looking at with this wall of netbooks? Well, basically, this is our uh, Voxeo challenge. And, uh, it's the result of a bet between uh, Jonathan Taylor and engineering. He challenged us to uh, run 2,500 ports on a set of netbooks, and uh, that's what we set out to do. Wow. So what is? So what am I looking at here? Uh, well, what we have here. Uh, 20 netbooks, uh, 1.4 gigahertz machines with uh, 2 gigs of RAM, each okay. one of them running uh, on average about 100 calls each. Um, and if you uh, back out a little bit, what we have is the uh, management console yep. running on a MacBook Pro, and it's uh, showing real-time statistics on uh, the, the call volume that we have in the, the cluster. And we've just started. This is the beginning of day three, so we're obviously not seeing much calls yet, but in a few minutes, that'll be more, a little bit more interesting, eh? Yep. Okay. So this is 100 calls on each note, netbook? How long did this take to get set up? Um, well, the actual software physically took only about four hours to install, but uh, it's really the result of uh, several weeks of refinement of the software. Uh, we had to tune it in order to actually you know, scale it down and allow it to essentially uh, slowly scale up to 120 ports instead of pre-allocating resources like we normally do. So hopefully the end result of this is that we'll be able to get much higher port densities while still being uh, quote-unquote good citizens on a small low-powered laptop if someone tries to evaluate the software. Wow, that's pretty cool. So these are, uh, uh, we've got 20, 20 netbooks, each running something on the order of about 100 calls, all put together into a cluster. So uh, you said you're doing what? So that's 2,000 ports right. simultaneously? Yeah. Cool. What else are you showing here at the booth? Uh, well, we have, a, we, have, we have a couple of other things. Uh, we have the uh, voice object screen here. Okay. Um, you know, they've done something very interesting that I don't think anyone else has ever done. They're pretty much doing in IDE analytics. So as a developer, um, I pretty much rely on uh, an analyst or some sort of a uh, you know, business person to go in, evaluate reports and tell me where the hotspots are, open a trouble ticket against engineering to actually fix a spot in an application. Well, instead of doing that, you pretty much open the voice objects IDE right now and visually see where the hotspots are. Literally, if, let's say, 45% of my customers are dropping out at, let's say, collect SSN, it will start glowing red and tell me that this is a problem area within my application because there's been a lot of activity on it, positive or negative. Uh, so the, the color coding in the IDE, I think, is, uh, is a great addition. Uh, Mike Codini and his team, uh, they're adding some additional metrics so you can actually uh, tap into this analytics stream feed it back into the IDE, but also automatically open trouble tickets uh, based on thresholds. That's pretty cool. So this is uh, this is great stuff. And I know we're also showing the multi-channel demo. We've got a number of other things. So, yep. well, thanks for the time, Jose. Great.